Hello and welcome to another Tech Dive tutorial for Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Today we're going to be talking about pre-rendering. So pre-rendering is not something very obvious in Vegas and the reason for that is when you're working on projects a lot of times it just tries to handle it itself. So for example if you did a transition effect in a Premiere or if you did it in the Avid uh, or even in Final Cut it would a lot of times it would just kind of tell you right here this this isn't what that I'm about to describe. It'll kind of put a line up right here uh, and those other things telling you that it is not pre-rendered and you're not going to have the best quality. However, Vegas kind of does some light, I'm not going to say pre-rendering, but it is a lot of the computation in the background using the GPU so you can see what you're doing pretty instantly. Um, but these are two 4K shots right here so when you're watching it uh, you're going to notice a touch of a lag while it fades, uh, and that's okay. Uh, I still pretty well see what I'm gonna what I'm gonna see when it renders out with the final project. So I'm not really worried about pre-rendering. That's one of the beautiful things about Vegas is you don't have to worry about pre-rendering for every little thing. Uh, something to note, though, sometimes you will really want to see what the final product is going to look like before you render out the entire project, and you don't want to necessarily render out a piece of it save that file, go open that file, and look at it. You want to see how it looks in the whole project without uh, really stopping your workflow. And that's when you're going to want to pre-render with Vegas. So we're just going to take this 3D effect right here. Now, definitely some lag going on right there. So, I'm not going to worry about this. Take your loop region. This is going to kind of show, show Vegas what you're selecting you're gonna to want to pre-render this you can watch it a couple of times it'll kind of help you pre-render it a little bit see I got a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna see once I've rendered it but it's still laggy and it's still not the exact so if I wanted to see the perfect version I would do a pre-render now pre-rendering is different than rendering you're not going to uh, see the pre-render in the final project it's going to be rendered again when you render the pre-render is is just going to be a reference for you while you're editing. So now that we have it selected, so you're going to right click the loop region, you're going to select selectively pre-render video, shift M is the shortcut, it's going to pull up your familiar render screen except it's going to be pre-rendering video. Here you're going to select how you want it the codec you want it to pre-render with. Now this is confusing because if you go show favorites, your favorites might not be there. Or if you say match project settings, there might be nothing that matches the project settings. Uh, because the codec I'm using is a proprietary Sony codec, not any of the general codecs. Uh, so it's not going to match with the pre-render things because the pre-rendering has only got a lot of the generic codecs because it's just worried about giving you a render a quick render that's going to quickly show you what you're going to see when the effect is there but it's not long term and if you do any changes the pre-render is going to go away so don't worry too much about that you're just going to want to select maybe mass match aspect ratio that way you don't worry about any aspect ratio differences I'm just gonna do a quick 720p 30 frames a second version of it hit enter and then boom it's pre-rendering there we go now if I watch it again it is beautiful it's exactly what I'm gonna see timing wise and everything when the project's done uh, if I was actually doing a project right now. So one thing to note though, like I said, if you move it, it's going to be gone. Boom. Pre-render is now gone. This is standard for any editing software. When you move something, the pre-render is going to go away because you've changed it and the pre-render is a fixed item. So changing it just makes it go away. So if I were you, uh, I would only pre-render for reference. Don't pre-render so you can see your project beautifully. Uh, really, with any editing workflow, 
you're gonna just edit it, especially with Vegas since it handles so much uh, of the effects and everything. Uh, when you do some light effects, it just handles them right there on the timeline. Uh, create it, watch it. If you get to a spot where you're not quite sure about the timing, not quite sure how it's gonna look, select it, pre-render it, give it a look, make some changes, maybe pre-render it again, give it another look, and then you're gonna get a good idea about that section, then you're gonna have a good idea about the whole video. But with any project, on any software, um, render it and then watch the render again. Because when you've done the final render of the video, you're going to notice some small, small, small things that you just wouldn't have seen in the preview window. Because not everything shows up in the preview window, because this is just a preview. It's not perfect. It's not exactly pixel per pixel what you're going to see. 99% uh, of the time, you're going to see what you thought you were going to see. Every every frame is going to seem in place, and you're going to love it, and you're going to upload it, or whatever you're going to do with the video next, give it to a client. But if you notice something in the rent, you might, there's a chance, you might notice something in the final render that you didn't notice beforehand. So it's always just a good rule of thumb to watch your final render before you call it your final render. Alrighty, but that's been how to pre-render a video in Vegas Movie Studio 14 Platinum. Right click, selectively pre-render video. And you should be good to go. Thanks, like if this video helped you out. Subscribe for more tutorials. We also got anything to do with computer enthusiast stuff. So if it's uh, high-tech software, if it's coolers, video cards, we got you covered here on Tech Dive. Thanks for watching.